Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to do a redo of a video I did a while back about just hack tools and basic, uh, just some things. Uh, the, the last one I did, which was up for a while, I left some stuff in there. I just don't want certain people seeing, like, as my target I put in there a website who I really don't like. I wouldn't want friends of mine finding out which website I really don't like, who it is. I wouldn't want who it is finding out. I did it as basically just, you know, something to pull up. All right, right here, you hit the proxy. You're going to want to go ahead and get a proxy list, which I've already done. You can see my proxies are checking right now. You're going to make a main, when, once you export these, you're going to make a main proxy folder. And that's where you're going to keep the new updated proxies. Then when you launch an attack or launch a proxy attack, it's going to use those proxies as you attack. To explain, it's kind of like a, a botnet in a way where it's pulling power from each proxy, which is which is showing is good. So that's that. That is the YIT team DOS terminal. And this is Gather. You can check this out at Gather Proxy. Just Google it, you'll find it. All right, here's the tools pack. Go into bin. First, we got the new low orbit ion cannon. If you need a password for this, it's, it's fucking stupid. You should be able to, anybody should know what the password is. I'll let somebody try to guess what the password is if it's four digits. So, I mean, I, I'll, I'll give it out and I'll give out these tools too, but. There's just a, a tool. Go ahead. This is the new low orbit, like I said. Um, they had the original one, too. A couple different ones. They got XLIC. And then extras got blackout, which is a little, look, four digits. Tell me what it is. It's really simple if you think about it. Fuck, I'll give you a hint. That's what all these tools fucking do, basically. So yeah, this is a little tool. I haven't yet tested these to find out how much uh, output they're putting out. Alright, you're not going to be able to guess the comment in the or the password in the comments, because I'm going to tell you what it is. You already know. It's DDoS, DDoS is the password. Which is pretty easy. This is a pretty cool tool because it has the mass website visitor. So you can go ahead and throw a, a YouTube channel in there or something. And let, let's go ahead and, and, and find us something to go ahead and throw in there. All right, that's been saved, so we can go back. No, let's not do that. Let's do this one. This is the video, by the way. This is the video where you'll get those tools, Armed Hacker Group. Armed Hacker Group. You'll find the download to those tools. And you just go ahead and paste whatever URL you want to put in there. Go into the little two, change, start, and there they go. And you will see, once you stop these, you will see the, the video pop up in the page to show that it actually did visit those pages. Let's see it. Let's see. Now don't ever minus it out, just always exit. Because they'll put little tabs. See if you minus it, it puts these little tabs down here. You'll end up seeing it and not knowing what the fuck it is. Alright, let's go back. Oh, generic DDoS. Just in the generic DDoS script terminal. See, I got the password wrong. How the fuck did I get the password wrong? Because my keyboard's sitting up on top of my radio and I have to type them with one hand and something in my hand already. Alright, so that's what this one looks like. Alright, now let's go to the tools section. This one's always fun to open up on your computer while you're playing a game because people fucking freak. What the fuck was that? 
because it announces itself. At least it, it didn't that time. What the hell? All right. Um, okay. Check these out. You could set the password, the overall password, so you don't have to type it in every fucking time. So there's a flood bat file. Bat file. Show that in. Goodbye. That was a pretty good tool. I'm also going to show you um, a loop ping code you could put into uh, Notepad++. Make your own loop ping. So then they just have the rest of these unknown dosser. So it's a pretty good tool collection. Alright, to make the loop ping I was talking about, let's go ahead and open this up. I put a internal IP in there just to show, you know, an IP and where it goes. That's what you type and put whatever IP you're stressing in here. Then you're going to want to save this. You'll save it as and name it like, give your target a nickname, you know, like fuckboy. <laughs> and then you want to do dot batch or bat, sorry, it's a batch file, but dot bat, and just hit save and make, save it on your desktop. Then what you do is just open it up, and every time you open it up, it's going to just do a loop ping, which looks something like, like that. Alright, next tool I shall show you, let's go... Down. I know I got tons of shit on here. This is the PSN um, Brute Force Cracked Edition. Everybody's done Cracked It. And you just load your um, your proxies in your load your proxies in here. Go ahead and set what kind of proxies they are. By load accounts here so load them and hit start and it'll go through and filter out which ones it can and which ones it can't I have a new list of about a thousand accounts just to do as a test just an overall test um it's an account generator it's alright A good place, I'm going to show you guys a great place to get tools from. Is the website. Three Kings. And just come down here to this. And uh, usually it's on the side, but go ahead. Click on one of these, like botnet or something. Let's see, so exploit. Let's see, I'm trying to find where they, usually they have on the side where it'll say like hacking or software. They also will set shit up for you, like they'll set up a rat for you and stuff. I'm going to grab a video and pause this one second. And this is NanoCore, which I set up the other day, which you can tell is me by my voice. Same shit I'm recording on now. I'm just going to mute it. This is opening NanoCore. You're going to go to um, Builder Settings. And basically up top, you can just put whatever name. You can leave it default. And then here you're going to go to noip.com. And you're going to get a couple different connections. And you're going to put the main here and a backup there then you're going to choose whatever port on your router you want to port forward so make sure you go into your router and enable port forwarding on that port <clears throat> let me move forward a little bit 
I come down here, you scroll with DNS. The only problem I had with Nanocore is applying an icon. I had an issue with that. Then this is what message you want to pop up on the person's computer once they've downloaded whatever file you're trying to make it look like. Enable key logging. Then, let's see what I did here. Yeah, so I went ahead and I uploaded it on my server as PayPal dot or PayPal card, credit card info. <laughs> And a few people have my server because I have thousands of songs on there. I'm just waiting for somebody to click on PayPal credit card info. Just to fucking see who does. And I'm not going to do nothing malicious. Of course, I'll remove it and all that shit. But it's it's a rat trap and it's set and it's sitting there waiting. So but that's how you set up Nanocore. Go to noip.com for your port uh, DNS. and port forwarding shit. So that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, also, if you're trying to learn more shit, one thing I recommend, if you have a newer computer, go into the, here. I'm not on my new machine, but go into here and type Hyper-V. See where it says turn Windows features on and off. You're going to want to check this out and see if you have Hyper-V on your computer. If you do, you're going to want to turn it on. See, I don't on this PC. This PC is 8 years old almost, 7 years old. But it should be right around here. You're going to want to enable it. Say this was Hyper-V, I would check that box. Hit OK. Your computer is going to restart. Once it restarts, you're going to open up Hyper-V Manager. Now I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Alright, so this is a video I've uploaded in the past called How Let's to Set a, a Virtual here. Machine. Alright. So it's and you're gonna type pipe. Yeah. So once you hit. once you've installed it and your computer restarts, right you'll here. type in. Double click it and it'll open Hyper V Manager. Once you're in Hyper V Manager, you just create a new machine. Once you create a new machine, you just want to load it up. As you'll see, you want to load it with an ISO file. It's really easy to do, so I would recommend downloading a Linux ISO or Ubuntu, something like that, and, and get started learning Linux, and I highly recommend that. So that way you can run your virtual machine on your Windows machine instead of doing the dual boot methods, which sometimes can be a pain in the ass. So there's my tips and tools, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.